I muted everybody because that feedback was loud in my ears. All right. Well, it's nice to see you all. We have uh, 26 participants, so that must be 25 and then me. And if your mic is broke or not working, you can go ahead and put uh, questions in the chat. And you guys can answer each other's questions if I don't see it because I don't have the chat open very often. I'll just check in every now and again. Um, and yeah, so use the chat to help each other and answer each other's question. Questions, that would be very helpful. All right, ooh, we got one more person joining us and that'll make 27, so 26 plus me. So as always, I record this so that people who uh, can't be here today, right now, can catch up later, but it's so much easier being here because you get to do the Pear Deck live and it's hard to watch a, a 30 to 50 minute video, uh, depending on how long we go. Uh, but yeah, if you get long videos like that, watch it in little chunks or fast forward to the parts you need to um, see. So that is cool. All right, so as usual, uh, I, I thought we'd do a pair deck because it's a nice way for you to not just sit there and look at me, but to engage with what we're doing. So the best way for you to do that is to uh, make Zoom exit full screen and then go back and forth between Zoom. And I'll tell you when to go back to Zoom when I want to show everybody something. But then you can be on Pear Deck uh, on your browser. So I started sharing my screen so that you can see uh, that code for Pear Deck. So if you get to your favorite browser right now, you're going to go to joinpd.com and type in the join code, which is determined pairs jump orange umbrellas. And you don't have to type the whole thing. It's just the first letter in each word, D-P-J-O-U. Dip Jew or Jow or something. All right. And um, if you, like me, have your video so you can see everybody's face kind of on the side, uh, you can minimize that if it gets in your way, or you can just keep it there and scroll down so you can see more people. That's always fun. And yeah. You're being recorded, but don't worry, because when I put it on YouTube, I blur your faces so you don't have to worry about <clears throat> anyone seeing you. That's not one of us, because we can see you now, <laughs> but that's cool. All right, we've got 13 connected out of the 26, so we're halfway there. Excellent. I'm gonna wait a few more seconds for more people to get in. And I'm gonna put the join code in the chat just in case you get kicked out and can't see it. There, D-P-J-O-U, <laughs> just for you. Okay, for everyone, 17 students in. So I hope everybody's doing okay. This is, uh, I don't know if you watch the news. Maybe it's better if you don't because the news is very newsy. And um, they've been talking about what school's gonna look like in the fall and they've got all these crazy plans because you know how viruses are every year. People get sick with the cold, the common cold, the rhinovirus, and the flu, the influenza. And for contagious uh, viruses like that, that are easy to catch, really hard to stop, especially when you're all in an enclosed space like a classroom 
for hours at a time. That is a great way for viruses to go from person to person, right through the air, right through breathing. So they've got some ideas for um, how to do school. But it's all planning. Nothing's been uh, uh, for certain. But I see that Cash has a hand raised, so I'm going to unmute you so you can speak. Go. Um, how do you get to the Pear Deck? So if you go to a browser, you can use Chrome. All right. Type in joinpd.com. All right. All right. Yeah, we got 20 in. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm just about to start. And yeah, if you can't get in, worse comes to worse, just stay on the Zoom and you'll see everything. You'll just have to watch instead of participate in the polls and uh, the questions um, and all that good stuff. Yeah, Microsoft Edge. I've actually tried Microsoft Edge. I had to uh, install the latest version. Anytime you use a browser, always check to make sure you have the latest version because some of the tools we're using like Flipgrid, especially the Flipgrid screen recorder feature, which is in beta and it's really cool because you can do um, screencasts like the ones that I do, only work on um, the latest uh, browser. So you have to have it updated. See, Isaac has his hand raised. So Isaac, I'm going to unmute you. Go ahead. Oops, lost you. Isaac, can you raise your hand again? All right, I don't see his hand, so I'm gonna move on and start. All right, so if you haven't had a chance, move your flag to either the stressed person or the chill cat, just to see how you're doing right now, this very moment. And um, the star, pick whichever emoji best represents how you're feeling right now. How are you doing? And I'm gonna lock in three and two and one. Let's see where everybody's at. All right. Oh, we got a few people stressed out today. Uh, we typically have a lot on the chill cat, but today it seems like we got a few more stressed uh, people. And we got some excited, some silly, some surprised, some worried. It's nice to see a lot on the happy. Makes me feel good when you guys are feeling good because I I've mentioned it before, but it's worth repeating. We learn best when we're feeling good and happy. Stress blocks the learning. So it's not a good time to learn new things or use that prefrontal cortex, the, the part of your brain that makes decisions. Uh, I know it's not sad. When you're stressed, you're on fight, flight, survival mode. And those are the choices you make under those circumstances. Now, I always start asking you how you're doing, but uh, I'm just curious. How many of you are tired of being asked, how are you doing? Just wondering, because uh, yeah, I saw that question on, on this class that I was taking and I thought, hey, yeah, you know, uh, maybe some people might be getting sick and tired of it. It's like, just leave me alone. I'm doing fine. Or no, no, keep asking me because I like to know you care. All right, we've got 17 have voted, 18. 18 out of 24, Oop, we've got 20, almost everyone has voted, and I'm locking in three, two, one. All right, so here's how we're at. Yeah, 21 of you are like, me, I'm tired of it, I'm okay already. But three of you are like, you know what, keep checking in with me, uh, I, I, I need to be checked in with. Um, Thank you for sharing that. It's good for me to know. If you don't mind, I'll keep starting my Pear Decks this way just to check in, even though Pear Deck does a check-in, right? You know, when you first put in the code, it says, how are you? Um, but I like that chill cat and that stressed person, and I love those emojis. So hope it's okay, even though you're okay already. Thank you 
for that. And I'm so glad to hear it because can you believe we've been doing school from home virtually for two months? Two whole months. This is week eight uh, since we saw each other that Monday, March 16th. It was nice to see you all that day. But then you went home and the only way I've seen you is here with your little faces on the screen. It's kind of like a classroom, but oh, so not the same. Um, so I just wanted to have today be about let's get caught up and let's get inspired to keep going. So yeah, I'm like, wow. Um, so I, I wanna go on with a, a reminder. Same reminder I do every week. I've made a few screencast videos of it, shared it with some parents and told your parents, hey, show your kid this. Because here's what I need you to be making sure is when you're on your uh, class craft, I mean, first of all, check it every day. I know many of you do, right on. When you see the green dot, you know there's a message. And this is just, I repeat it every time, but it's worth repeating. Okay, if it says sixth grade and it's got my face, you know that's a message from me. And I'm showing this on Zoom now, so if you take a look at Zoom, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. See, I want you to see this. Uh, I post every, uh, all sorts of updates on here that are really important for you. But on the sixth grade, with my face, it's just for you. It's typically feedback. It's like, hey, thanks for turning this in, or I answer your questions. So it's really important that you check all of those. And please, don't forget to scroll up. But scrolling up is especially important in the class announcement. Some of you ask me questions, and I'm going, I just posted that in the class announcement. Check there first, because you may not even have to ask the question. So like, Today's Zoom, it was on the class announcement. I even posted it earlier than usual because I know some of you are like, mm, I want it right now, I want to check. And I think that's cool. Plus look at that, Leland won the lottery for second period. I think first period just got the lottery uh, a little while ago and third, it's still out there. But see how the dot is still green? It's because I haven't seen everything. So you got to keep scrolling up. Ooh, some of you saw this one. And then, yeah, some of them are just random events. If you don't check in every day, you're probably behind on what's been going on. But this will help you see. And then there's stuff I post that's like, you need to know this. So keep scrolling up. Look at it. It's still green. That means I've missed a lot. So I got to keep scrolling up, keep scrolling up, and read it. See what you're missing. See there? Oh, yeah. And Brooke got something. What did she get? Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I like doing the uh, crazy DJ one. I think a few periods have already gotten it, or two of you. Um, and notice I'm still scrolling, and it's still green. So this person has missed a lot. Did you just see that? The dot went away. This is the last time I checked it. So if you're having any questions or you're not sure how to do something, Check the class announcements first. And then don't forget, if you're like, what am I supposed to be doing in science? Go to Ocean Guardian School because everything you should be doing is right here. All right, my people. That is uh, the most important thing you need to be checking right now. So let's go back to the Pear Deck. And... Um, Check in the chat real quick because I might have missed some stuff. Some people have to leave and come back. Yeah, that's sad. You don't want to miss any of this cool stuff. Uh, all right. So thank you for monitoring the chat for me. And yeah, I don't know if you noticed that red circle just came down. Uh, on Classcraft, when I look, I see how many people have um, viewed each announcement. So like this one, my please don't quit one, keep working, keep learning every day. Uh, 13 people, I forget which period I got that from, 
saw it. That's just about half of the class. And I'd like to be at 100%, but you know what? If all those of you who are here check every day, then we've got hopefully half in each class. That would be nice. So check it out every day. Now, this one, think like a scientist. Uh, if you're not on Pear Deck, go to the Pear Deck one. Um, this is kind of old. If you haven't done it yet, it's a quest that unlocks uh, a bunch of other ones. So really need to do that one. And let's see uh, how many people have been doing it. So how are we doing on response? I have to check on my iPad. Oh, did I move it here? Yeah. Let's see how we're doing. All right. 15 people have responded. And I've got chat going on. And I think participants. All right, Nigel has a hand raised. Nigel, while people are voting here or choosing, I'm gonna unmute you for your question. Go ahead. Um, I think I forgot what it was. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I don't always see when those hands go up. All right, if, if you think about it again, raise your hand later. All right, so it looks like, wow, 11, yeah, baby. They've done it, and 10 are like, um, not yet. So, yeah, think like a scientist. Plus, it's kind of fun. Um, I don't know if I should spoil it. If you don't know what it's about, watch the videos. See where it says thinking like a scientist YouTube playlist. If you just click on scientific thinking, somebody did that and when they posted in the discussion the answer to one of the questions they got it totally wrong and I was like you didn't watch my videos did you they missed the big idea and it's a huge one so I can't spoil it but you try it for yourself and those of you who've done it you know about the octopus right don't tell them <laughs> it's huge it's a it's a good one and and the second activity on there that a frequently asked questions page. I got a question about that in, the, in a quiz we're gonna play today. So this is a very important quest assignment to get done because it unlocks a bunch of other stuff. All right, now, once you do think like a scientist, it leads you to climate change. So let's see how many of you have done that. Some of you have finished it and your notes were great. I really enjoyed reading them. Um, you got all the main ideas, the videos on this are wonderful. And I'm sorry for the sound. I didn't have it all perfect. Uh, so the sound is horrible, but I'll show you how you can watch it and, and have not to watch it through my bad sound system. Yeah, I tried that microphone I have in class or had in class and it failed miserably. This works pretty well but then I have to figure out how to get the computer audio. So yeah, you know, I learned by doing. So finish um, posting your answers on there. We've got 15 people so far. So I'm gonna lock in a three, a two, a one. So we've got three people. Actually, it's more than three, but maybe they're not all here. Uh, yes. I finished climate change, I took my notes, and when they task complete that one, it unlocks a bunch of other stuff. So that's why it's really cool to keep up and, and do your work because then you see what else is available and you might like some of it better than what you did before. But 13 of you that are here, um, not yet. So that's your goal, is to get that done as soon as possible, ASAP. ASAP. You get the picture. All right. Now, if, if you are 
watching my videos and you're like, oh, the sound is horrible. I just want to watch it myself and I'll write my own notes. Here's the link to the website. So if you look on Zoom real quick, uh, I'll show you where to find the videos. So you're on the website, right? It's Our Climate, Our Future. Scroll down a little bit and you've got the choice playful video or break it down. See, I did the break it down because I like it in many video chapters. If you can sit through the whole thing, you click there. Now, it's going to say, oh, sign up or log in. That's why you, you can watch it through my playlist, because then you don't have to log into this website. And I have an account, so I'm all set up. Duh. But then it says, um, how many people are watching? Well, if it's just you, because it says, Psst, don't forget to count yourself, put one. And then you submit it, because um, that's how they, they keep track of how many people are learning from their, their video. And see, it's 39 minutes, 52 seconds. It's not long. Come on. I've watched movies that are so much longer than that. Hi. I've been showing this for years, so I love that music. I don't get tired of it. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's uh, the videos that I've been using to teach sixth graders. And sixth graders have been learning climate change so well because of that video series. They did a really good job. Um, so, get back to the Pear Deck, just in case you went to Zoom to watch what I was showing. And let's move on. All right, review quiz time. So some of you found that quizzes, uh, eight of you took it, and I think it was uh, Leland and Ashton tied for the top. They got 8,100 points on that one quiz that I put on there just to test it. Uh, so we're going to do what's called quiz is. And what you're going to do is, if you're on Pear Deck, open up a new tab. And on that new tab, you're going to type joinmyquiz.com. I've got it on uh, Zoom if you want to see it. And it's got a game code, 818695. I'm going to put that information in the chat in case you cannot um, see it. So you're going to go to joinmyquiz.com. And code is 818-695. Ooh, and I just heard somebody pop in. I mean, literally, it was a pop. So we've got some cool ways to do quizzes. I love this. You got Kahoot, and I've got some Kahoot quizzes. I got a whole bunch for you. So if you like Kahoot and you want to get smarter, try those. GimKit. Oh my goodness. I still love GimKit. I got a whole bunch of great GimKit quizzes. Do those. Have fun. Get smarter. But I tried quizzes and I thought, hey, it is just as fun. So I might do some quizzes on quiz is. Get it? All right. So we got 15 of you in. Yay. All right, really? Your mom? That's not good. Bye. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry for being uh, uh, like that, but I want to know who you are. And I don't want something that's uh, not school appropriate. Thank you very much for your understanding. All right. I see a lot of people are in. So we'll be starting What's the code? The code, sorry, is 818695. And I posted it in the chat room. You probably have to scroll up to find it. Yeah, Kim Kit is great. And Caden, you were like a total champ on it. I think you had the highest score on that one. Um, you should try the other ones I've got. You'll love them. Yes, we've got 22 people. All right, we're about to start. Now, the nice thing about quizzes is when you play it live, it's like Kahoot, the way you answer the questions. But what I like more is that it's like GimKit. You go at your own pace. You don't have to wait for me to go from one question to the other, which 
I like that sometimes for Kahoot style, but uh, other times it's really cool. So we're about to start in three, two, one, go. loud. I don't know if you can hear the music, but I'll turn it on in a moment in case you can. Uh, ooh, T-Man just beat Rylan for first place, 2,880 points. Ooh, and Cash just took second, just barely. Oh, and Rylan took the lead again. Yeah, it's looking good. You guys are doing great. All right. Let's try this. All right. Well, back to the Pear Deck. That was quizzes. I hope you liked it because it's just another way to have fun and learn and review. Uh, I think those are great. So we're back at Pear Deck. And the next slide is one that's showing something I, I introduced uh, Monday, just Monday, the very beginning of this week, the water quality. Um, water quality is kind of the last big thing we do as part of our Ocean Guardian School project. And um, it it's, comes right after climate change. And there's a lot of stuff there. Uh, so I want to show you that. But let's see how people are doing with their... Oh, yeah. So I... I, hope I made this a drawing screen for no reason, just so you can have some fun. So I'll give you a few seconds to uh, draw something, show off your computer graphics skills, just because I love drawing. It's something I wish I were better at. I need to practice and get better. Art is wonderful. So I'm seeing what people are doing. There we go. Noah's coming in. All right. Let's take a few more seconds. How about, let's see if I can do. Oops, 30 seconds, there we go. For you to finish your lovely artworks. And then we'll have a gallery walk. If you haven't had a chance to draw, um, we're on Pear Deck now. So make sure you're on your browser 
and time. So let's see. Uh, let's show responses. So here's a lovely uh, arrow extravaganza. <laughs> this looks like a big creature eating or, or a flood maybe. I'm not done. I did it. Not done yet. <laughs> that was Dune, by the way, but we won't mention that. Oops, I already did. Done with graphs and working on notes. Oh, excellent. Somebody's ahead. Yeah, the water quality is where we go into graphing, and I show you how to do that with Google Sheets. Makes the process so much easier. Ooh, that's a nice little guy there. Whoa, this one looks cool. It's see-through. That one's not see-through. Oh, nice person. Very happy looking. Oh, another happy person. Yes. Hmm, that one all gone. Ooh, that's cool. What is that? Looks like a chicken with four legs. Oh, nice choice of colors there. Yeah. Ooh, purple. Love purple. Ah, this one too. Whoa. Ooh, looks like a clown. Clowns are kind of scary, though. All right. Ooh, here's another one. Well, thank you for sharing, for those of you who shared. So, yes, the uh, water quality leads to the final project post. In terms of assignments and learning for our environmental stewardship project, um, we're at the end here. So you've got from now till June 19th to get all this work done. So part of all the work we have been doing for the last two months since we left school and started learning from home, there are four blog posts that you need to uh, have done to get a complete for this year in science. I mean, all the other stuff is to help you make those blog posts wonderful. These are like your final assessments. The first one is the water pollution public service announcement which a bunch of you have done, and a few of you, I've been sharing it, and if you want me to share yours, it's done, and I haven't uh, uh, featured it. I'll, I'll tell you what you can do later. The other one is, of course, the climate change. It's called the ACE dot. When you complete climate change, it opens up the ACE dot uh, quest assignment, and it'll tell you how to pick your dot, which stands for do one thing and um you're going to write a blog post sharing what you've learned the third one is the ocean acidification you're going to learn about ocean acidification and share it and the reason we blog what we're learning and share it is that's part of what we do to serve our, our world is we share what we're learning so other people can learn from us to help make the planet a better place and the last one is this final project post from Water Quality Chimicum Creek Final Report. So you've got four numbers. I want you to drag those numbers uh, in, in order of between these four, which is number one is going to be, which is the one you want to work on like first if, if you're not done with any of them, or which one's your favorite if you're done with one or more. And then go from two, three, four. Four being the one you're like, oh, if I could save that one for last please help me um because i want to see what you're most interested in so you're moving your numbers around and i'll give you let's see here let's wait a few seconds for that and while we're waiting for people to choose I think I saw a hand up. So Cash, if you are listening, I'm going to unmute you, ask your question now. Um, I have a bunch of chores to do. Am I allowed to go early? Yeah, because I'm recording this. You can watch it later. All right, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for asking. Um, all right, later. All right, bye.
All right, so I'm gonna lock uh, your choices in uh, three and two and one. All right, let's see what people have. All right, let's uh, make those a little bigger. Actually, I wanna see what they look like with everybody's answers on one. Whoa! Look at that, that's wild. All right, so water pollution PSA has some fours, some threes, some twos, some ones. It's all over the place. Look at that, they're all, all over the place. So there's no clear winner is what I'm seeing. I was just curious to see if uh, what your choices would be. So here's what some people wanna do. Some wanna do them in the order that I put them there, it's one person. Uh, well, that one's got three numbers in one place. Water pollution PSA, somebody picked as their first choice. Ah, here we go, somebody picked climate change as their first. And the, oh, by the way, the water pollution PSA, just so you know, it's the hydrodynamics challenge, in case you forgot. I wonder why the uh, Chimicum Creek one isn't showing on these. That's weird. It should be right under ocean acidification. Ooh, ocean acidification, one person wants to do that one first. All right, I have ways I can help with that. Because um, I was thinking, yeah, if you want to skip over like climate change and jump to ocean acidification, I can help you with that. So you guys can message me if you want to skip around. Um, like let's say you're in the middle of climate change and you're like, oh, I really want to learn about ocean acidification before I finish because I'm interested in it right now or the water quality. I can do that for you. Um, yeah, and those of you who've published your ACE dot or your ocean acidification, I'm going to be sharing those on our uh, World Solutions blog later. So if it's good enough, I will share it just uh, after I get more public service announcements. All right, moving right along. Speaking of the public service announcements and the PS or the sixth grade world solutions blog, I just looked at this today. Um, and these red dots are places in the world that have gone on to that blog. That's not your individual blogs. That's a blog where I take your individual ones that are really good and feature them there. And as you can see, uh, not a lot because the little dots mean one to 10 people. But I was just checking this morning and four times it got uh, access from Dubai, right here uh, in the Middle East. And um, let's see, one from Britain had one, I think it had a bunch from Sweden. Of course, Washington has the biggest circle. And that orange spot there in the middle of the United States, that happened right as I checked it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so if you go back to the Zoom, I wanna show you how we're doing. Because some of you might be curious. So let's take a look at a monthly view. Camden's uh, post is still at the top with 89 page views. Logan's, yours is in second with 76. Ethan got 68 views. Um, last year's dealing with dangerous algae is still in the running this year. I'm not sharing it and it's still getting views, which means people are searching that topic and reading uh, this website as a resource. Um, Anya's has 51 and Riley, yours is up to 32 and I just started sharing it, what was it, yesterday? So pretty good for two days going live and 32 views already. Um, and if we look here, this also shows where in the world, we got France, Germany, a uh, whole bunch of places, 10 from United Kingdom, we got Italy, Portugal, Turkey. I enjoy seeing this because it, it, this proves that the work we're doing is reaching people. And that's why I have you blog. Really cool stuff. All right, you go back to the Pear Deck now. Ah, <laughs> so those of you that have been paying attention and check Classcraft may have noticed that this 
just went live yesterday. Because 27 of you said, I can do Minecraft at home and I'm willing to do some science stuff. I put one, two, three, four, five, six um, activities that can be done in Minecraft Education Edition. And I saw in the chat room some of you were having troubles downloading and stuff like that. Watch my video because I show you uh, how it worked for me. You want to download the world, not the pieces that show when you click on it, but you want to download it all together. And uh, Ethan found out that on a Mac, it doesn't open the worlds. So if you're on a PC with Windows 10 running version 1.12.60 of Minecraft Education Edition, which is a free download, it's over 300 uh, megabyte download, then you're in. You can do these. You can do these in any order you want. Um, you can do them all. You can do some, you can do none. There is plenty to do if you don't want to do Minecraft, but 27 of you said you wanted to, so there you go. And the pollinator gardens really fits our Ocean Guardian school work, so I want to share your uh, creations with our grant people, because I share your blog posts and anything you create with the grant people so they can be like, mission accomplished because we got to complete our mission every year. So let's see how we're doing here. People are circling uh, pollinator gardens, energy transfer, Rube Goldberg machine. Ooh, I got somebody still excited about the final project post. I am because that one I have to share with our grant uh, people. And I talked to the lady just on Monday and we're okay. You know, they're giving us uh, uh, an extension on our work because they know this has never happened before, not since the Spanish flu of 1918. So let's see, I'm gonna lock your screens in three, two, and one. I wanna see what people have been, uh... oh, look at those half circles. Minecraft, give me Minecraft. All right, we got some people who are excited about it. Uh, yeah, it was 27 out of 32 who took the poll into it. Ooh, I didn't see it. Well, now you know. So that was um, excellent. Yeah, pollinator garden. All right. So thank you for sharing that. And next, all right, go back to the Zoom screen because I just want to show you. We're on Zoom right now. Hopefully you can see what I'm showing. And um, okay, so these are the uh, quests. Clearly, you have to have climate change done to get the quest uh, uh, assignments. And then when you click on each one, now these are important because they have a link that you can't find anywhere else. So it tells you what to do. And if you go over to Google Classroom, you can see there, I tell you how to use your um, Office 365 account to get into Minecraft Education Edition. And I show you an example password. It's a lot like your Google password, only with a capital first letter. And I've got all the assignments on Google Classroom with your worlds there ready to download and documents that tell you what you need to do. And they also tell you if you can do it creative mode, adventure mode, or survival. It's important. But when you're done with those, you're going to give us a tour of your creation on Flipgrid. So I've got a Flipgrid for every single Minecraft assignment. And when you add your video, if you've got your updated browser, you can do screen record and do a screencast. And if it doesn't work, you can try Screencast-O-Matic for free. I think you can do up to five minutes for free. And then you can upload that video. See, watch, on Flipgrid, one of your choices is import video. See, because my camera is being used right now. So you can record a, a short video on Screencast-O-Matic, save it to your computer, upload it, boom, 
you've got your assignment done. And that's how you get the um, XP and gold, because these are all worth 350 XP and 100 gold, each one. And you know, don't rush. Take your time, have fun with it, enjoy it. And I can't wait to see your tours. It's gonna be so exciting. Uh, you see how I get excited about all this stuff? I mean, I miss you guys and I love seeing your work. And, and those of you that are keep working, um, it's really cool and very exciting. So thank you for giving your best effort and um, uh, doing the work you're doing. So if you go back to Pear Deck, we're gonna move on to the next slide, boom. Okay, so we're near the end of our time together. I want to keep it short uh, today, but I wanted to bring your attention to a, a class craft quest assignment that a few people have done. And I don't know if uh, the rest of you know about it, but um, I'm really interested in knowing what you're doing during this quarantine time to stay fit at home. I wanna know how many of you are doing Mr. Meacham's or Mr. Haddenham's workouts and what they're like, cause I haven't seen them. Uh, I know some of you I see riding your bikes out there and when I go running, I see you uh, on the road and um, it's pretty cool. So this quest here, staying fit at home, is a way for us to motivate each other. It's just a discussion. You go to the discussion tab, write what you're doing. When somebody shares what they're doing, give it a reply and, and tell them, good job, way to go, I'm doing that too, or, or whatever. Plus, I'm still training for a marathon, even though the race was kind of canceled, it was turned into a virtual race, I still want to do it. I haven't run a marathon yet, and it's something on my to-do list, so I'm there. This weekend, Saturday, I got my 20-mile run. It's the farthest and longest I will have ever run. And from there, I'll taper down. And June 6th or 7th, I'll probably do it June 6th, it's a Saturday. I'm gonna go out uh, West Valley Road, down to center towards Quilcene for 13.1 miles and turn around and hopefully make it all the way home in one piece. Yeah, that'll be 26.2 miles a marathon. That's what I'm doing to stay fit. Plus it gives me something cool to do uh, and it helps me train. If I don't feel like going out there, I just think I wanna make a marathon. I wanna run the whole thing. So it keeps me motivated. What's keeping you motivated? So that one, um, I think it comes off, have you watched this? And I know most of you have done that one. So you should find it. Boom. So if you go back to the Zoom, <laughs> I said boom, and then Zoom. Uh, let me show you. You should be back on Zoom. And here it is. All right, so when you first started, the Ocean Guardian School Island, you had the introduction and it opened up, have you watched this? That one's old, but many of you have done it. So you can see staying fit at home goes from there. And it gives you some uh, information about what I'm doing. Because running alone is lonely. And shows you last month I ran 134 miles uh, altogether. So, you go to the discussion and you just share. Share what you're doing. Read what I'm doing. See what Anya's doing. See what Kayla's doing. Um, we've got a few people in each class, except for third period. Nobody there has been, no, Camden got on. So come on, help Camden. Get on there and read what I've been writing and see, you get to start a threaded discussion there. So that's what we're doing with Stay Fit. It's what we're all up to. And um, yeah, oh, that's right, it has been an hour. Huh. I thought I was cutting it short today. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm gonna unmute everybody because it's time to say goodbye to each other. Bye. Good to see you guys. Now, good to see you guys. You know you're safe. Now.
This is not. Nina. Yes. I was about to say this not getting it out I thought it was going to be alright. I was going to say Yeah, I saw you. You're like. I'll show you. You only have $3.50. I can. I can show you. You only have $3.50. I can show you. What are you doing? Okay. 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 Okay.